All right, we're gonna paint this KS7 by Caltech. We're gonna go with some Flectarn. That's the goal at least. I have my sample of what I will be going for. And we're gonna be using spray painted dish soap. We're gonna paint the dish soap on this time. So I'm not gonna just drizzle it willy nilly. We're gonna try to paint these splotches, kind of how it's looking here. And we're gonna do, I think just two washes. So, you know, we got the gun degreased. I got the, the guts taken out for the most part, springs, bolt, bolt carrier and taped up i think we're ready to go we're going to start off with this kind of gray color first do the gray and then do some bits of black on top of this layer all right imagine you're painting your gun that doesn't work and then bam bad guy hops the fence what are you gonna do that's why i keep that thing on me anyway you want this to be a nice and even layer of paint. So you do not paint too close or too fast. Take it easy. All right, we got this base coat of this, I think it's deep matte gray, I believe. Now we're gonna hit it with some spots of some flat black. The black that I'm adding will be the only black that shows through in the final pattern. So I don't need a lot. I want to keep enough of the gray to act as a base coat for the rest of the colors to sit on top of. Better gray than black. All right, nothing crazy. Wear some gloves. Try not to get too much overspray on top of the gray. We're not trying to get gradient so much. But I think we'll stop here, let this dry nice and good. I've been trying to figure out how to paint some fleck tarn with dish soap for a little while now and I realized I had to have a thicker soap that didn't run everywhere. So let's talk about that before we go any further. Okay, let's thicken up some dish soap. This way we can paint on some dish soap, paint on some stripes, paint on some shapes, what have you. That way, you know, the soap's not going to run immediately when it's on your gun or your magazine. So. We're going to add a mixture of some salt water. So we got this large breasted shot glass with, um, actually we have this with three tablespoons of warm water. And we're going to add a tablespoon of salt. So you just kind of want a three to one ratio stir that up you want the warm water to dissolve the salt we'll add this mixture of salt water just want to do a little bit at a time because it doesn't take a lot Now, I don't know why this chemistry works. The internet says it works, and I've had some decent results from it. So we'll just trust the internet, trust the science. You know, there's some big soap science out there that some of us may not be aware of. Now, it's not gonna thicken right away. So, do a little bit at a time, mix it up, and just kind of wait. Because if you put too much of this salt water mixture in there, then the barrier the soap holds against the spray paint kind of weakens, I've found. So you don't want it like gloopy, gloopy, glumpy soap. Um, but you just so, you know, you, you know, you want it a little thicker, kind of like a 
maybe like a ketchup. All right, we're gonna add some more. Again, just kind of doing a little bit at a time. There's some chemistry going on in here and I don't understand it. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, look at that. I hope I didn't put too much, but I think we're getting to the desired consistency. For this soap layer, I wanna keep equal parts of black and gray showing through. So I'm just applying some thick dish soap with the paintbrush, kind of just dabbing it. I'm trying to avoid the areas where the black fades in or over sprays into the gray. I just want solid colors and no gradients in this paint job. This satin avocado green is a light color and you just gotta take your time. It's gonna take a couple coats to make sure it's fully opaque on top of the gray and black. And like before, just, you know, don't, don't get it too thick. Take your time. And then after that, we're gonna add some spots of some chestnut brown, just like we did the black on top of the gray. And now we're ready to wash it off, rinse it off, see where we're at. This is where you get to see if your method was working correct. And so far, so good. After thoroughly washing off the gun, getting all the soap and all the suds out and letting it dry good, we're ready to add some more soap. We're gonna be adding a lot more soap than we did for the first layer. And that's because we wanna keep the pattern from the first layer of soap while we add more pattern to go along with it. I'd say you want about 70 to 80% of this soap layer being soap. And because the next color is gonna be green and you don't want too much green showing through. You want an equal amount of the five colors. This is a tricky soap layer because you have to really visualize it in your head. But once you do that, just do a nice even coat of green and then we're gonna be ready to wash off again. In this clip, I'm just showing you how much soap I really put down. It's just a big mess. It looks unorganized and kind of gross, but it's still clean, still soap. But you know, we're good. We're gonna wash it off nice and good. The fun part, the big reveal. This is where your hard work shows off if you did it right. This is a tricky camo to paint, so just go ahead and practice on something before you commit. That's always my, my advice for anyone trying out some dish soap. One of the sides doesn't look as good as the other because I didn't put enough dish soap down on the final layer like I was talking about. But that's all right. I'm still very happy with how this Fleck Tarn camo came out. I think that you know, it looks pretty close to the real deal. And, you know, it has has a little flavor to it, a little different feel. And, you know, I'm, I'm into it. I'm really digging it. And I hope you like it too. I think one of the hardest parts with this paint job is just making sure there's equal amounts of each color spread out evenly to make sure the whole piece just looks visually even to the eye. If you made it this far in the video, this is where I'm gonna pander to you to like and subscribe. It obviously helps the channel grow and I really appreciate all your guys' comments about the process or the outcome. Just let me know what you think. 
Thanks for watching, guys.